Ah, you mother. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Entrepreneur Army. We're going to be doing a proportioner build, or well, it's going to be a rebuild for me. But if you look in the builder proportioner metering system, anything like that, watch this video. Um, and I got this stuff all over my hand, so wear gloves. And uh, if you're liking the vibe, please subscribe. Like I spoke about in the last video, we have a crack that coming up in there. There's a crack right about there. Hopefully it's coming up. But I'm gonna take this down and we're gonna reassemble it. So if you're gonna build one or need to reassemble yours, you're gonna learn something. One more thing guys, it's always in the last spot. The crack or leak is always somewhere you forget to look. Always check your bushings like that. That's the one that broke, but it was right here. So we fixed that with a three quarter by half inch piece instead of half inch barb bushed down or bushed up. But another thing, always check your bulkhead fittings, all right? These guys, always check those. Those are usually the first to go, especially your F8. Um, and then just check all your fittings. <clears throat> you know, the out inlet or the outlet of your proportioner, the inlet of your 12 volt, that's a big suction area. The outlet of your 12 volt. So there's plenty of areas to check. Take your time. And a little tip is if you want to think it's your proportioner, uh, what you can do is sh shut all your valves and open one up at a time. Run it. If it runs good, that's good. Shut it. Open one. the soap by itself. If that runs good, it's good. SH by itself, if that isn't good, then that's the problem. So that's a good way to find out which one's which. Alright guys, so when doing this, I use True Blue. It's a vibration resistant pipe thread sealant. Alright. And I use this Monster Blue tape so what i do in the video as you've seen i put the tape on and then i put a good amount of this stuff on but wear gloves because it gets all over and messy i put a good amount on i don't think you really need that much but i just like to overdo it oh one other thing make sure when you're tightening down you uh do it easily and don't really i mean i use a wrench but it's just because i've been doing it so long i just very lightly um, for more of a grip but as you can see this is the culprit that I had a leak and I couldn't see it was a bushing I had my three-way valve this was into the three-way valve on top of my skid so I did not see it but yeah so all right so here's the setup um, you can see if you look close it's all getting cracked and uh, you know just getting wore out you know especially if your rigs you know use an sh a lot roof cleaning that kind of thing this is going to happen more quickly than others so here we go Alright, you can see here I got all the pieces separated. I'm just going to get some of this blue crap off. And what I'm going to do is put a small piece of tape on each fitting and true blue. So check me out.
All right, as you guys can see, this is all lined up. I got blue tape on everything. Um, oh, another thing is make sure these arrows right. These arrows. Shit. There's arrows right there. Make sure they're pointing down. Along with the check valves. Make sure those arrows are pointing down as well. Because they're sucking and the flow's going this way. So arrows, metering valves, and check valves got to be pointing this way. Important factor. And now we're going to be adding the true blue. Dun, dun, dun. Crazy hot out, South Florida baby. We got it fixed though. We're getting the distance back. And then when I let go of the trigger, it should only ring, or it should only really keep pumping for like three seconds. One, yep, see? One, two, yep. So you want it to be like one or two seconds. There you go.